He's been a referee, a manager, and most famously, a GM. Theodore R. Long has one hell of a career. His charismatic charm made him an entertaining presence anytime he was on screen. Today, we'll celebrate Teddy's career by highlighting his best sayings and one-liners. As we list the top 10 Teddy Long catchphrases. Number 10, West Side. In the late 90s, Long was managing in WCW. He was referred to as the Godfather and managed various lower card wrestlers. During this period, Teddy would sometimes shout West Side to the camera. It's not known for sure why he said this, since none of the wrestlers he managed were from California, but it was quite funny to watch. Number 9, Let Me Holler At You Player. As the mouthpiece for Thuggin' and Buggin' Enterprises, Long opened his promos with this sign. Teddy first began calling his pet Labrador player before then using the phrase on television, where it continued to evolve, as did the holler phrase, as we'll soon see. What up, gangsters? Let me holler at you, player. Hey, 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 hey hold on a minute. Uh, hold on a minute, cuz. All right, don't start. Let me holler uh, at you, player. Uh, don't call me player. Okay, no disrespect, my bad. Hey, hey, player, let me ask you something. Hey, don't let me hear you say player again, okay? That don't even fit you. Number eight, believe that. This was a way for Long to emphasize what he was saying. The world heavyweight champion, Batista, he's on our team. Now, you can believe that. Uh, right here tonight in Cincinnati. Now, you better believe that. If I get fired, I'm taking you down. I'm taking your man hiding right down. And you better believe that, player. And all of these people here, we feel your pain, dog. You can believe that. Teddy also had plenty of funny one-liners he would say that were usually followed up with Belida. Theodore Long has seen what that cracker snake, Steve Austin, has been doing around here. Believe that. Because it's time for the Theodore Long five-minute white boy challenge. Believe that. Oh, no. Because it's going to be off the hizzle for shizzle. Now believe that, player. I don't sweat the law. And I don't sweat Sheriff Austin. And you know why? I got Johnny Cochran on speed dial. Now you better believe that. I'll be the world heavyweight champion. Now, baby girl, you better believe that. Now, this is how we roll. Holla. You can't go wrong with Theodore R. Long. Believe that. Number seven, funny moments. On top of being both a brilliant manager and GM, Teddy also had great comedic talents. The Mac's gonna face tonight than Al Snow. Did I say snow? It don't get no whiter than that. I can see myself right on the cover of the dollar dollar beer, y'all. Look at this. <laughs> I didn't know. Remove this cracker from my show. <laughs> <laughs> Whether he was playing the straight man in a funny situation or simply just having fun, Long always made the best of what he was given. Oh no, not the stink face! <laughs> oh, Teddy! <laughs> Theodore Long! Now that's the funny stuff! Teddy, Teddy's chasing him! What? 13 nights away! Bring me sunshine in your dear Teddy. We're joined by Mrs. Doubtfire here at ringside. Well, no, it's Teddy Law. Hey, Teddy! I'm a moron. Come on, player. Who put that in the teleprompter? A wallet! A wallet! Look at that toilet! A wallet! Buckle up, Teddy. Number six, you feel me. Long has previously been referred to as the Ebony Einstein, given how he was famous for speaking in Ebonics, as we've seen already. The Ebony Einstein, Theodore R. Long. Another example of this was when Teddy would finish a sentence with, you feel me. Excitement, action, entertainment, and surprises. You feel me? You know something, Teddy? This might take Hey, hold on you. just a minute, player. The name is Theodore R. Long. You feel me? Okay, I'm sorry. Not only are you not happy with being white, 
you went and dyed your hair white. You feel me? Well, he was the man's tough. Don't get, don't get me wrong. Now, he's not a black man. He's a brown man. You feel me? Well, what about Rodney? He's just beach. You talk about blatant discrimination. You ought to be feeling me, player. I mean, Oriental man. What are you? And I want to run the show. You feel me? You want to run the show. Okay, I, I feel you. I feel you. Right. I mean... Number five. Hold on a minute, player. This was Teddy's signature opening line that evolved from holler at your player. It was a more professional greeting, especially when it came to the wrestlers, who typically had problems that Teddy had the solution to. And I graciously accept. Hold on just a minute, player. Hold on a minute, player. Hold up a minute, player. Hold on 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 just a minute. Man's got something to Hold say. Hold on a minute there, players. Hold on a minute, players. <laughs> Teddy Long! If only there was somebody that could come out here and make sense of this whole situation. Hold on a minute, player. <laughs> Number four, dance. Teddy initially did a few different types of dances before adopting the one we all know and love. Oh, boy. Well, see it all along. That's quite the combination here in the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Oh, God. What? Long started doing this as a way to copy his infant grandson, who would move up and down in a similar fashion whilst in a walker. Theodore Long! Vince liked the dance and instructed Teddy to keep doing it. It became a dance fans and wrestlers loved to imitate, bouncing along to the iconic Macmillan entrance music. Theodore Long! Come on, 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 come Teddy, stop dancing! Number three, tag team match. This was by far Long's favorite type of match. It's quite common for the authority figures to put wrestlers in tag matches, but the reason why Teddy is so famous for this is because of how much emphasis he put on announcing the stipulation. I put the emphasis on it because they always told me Vince wants you to make it alive, be alive with it. So that's how I made it alive, a tag team match. Yeah. I'm going to make this a six man tag team match. An eight man tag team match. A eight Diva Tag Match. It will be a six-man tag team match. Ten-man tag team match. Tag team match. Tag team match. Tag team. Tag team. Tag team. Elimination match. Ten-man tag team match. Long was able to get the fans so excited to see such a simple match type. I'm going to make this a tag team match. Yeah. Tonight's main event will be a six man tag team match. Tonight's main event here on SmackDown will be a tag team match. We're going to have ourselves a six man tag team match. Number two, one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker. If Teddy wasn't putting wrestlers in tag matches, then he was booking them to face the dead man, someone who Long previously managed in WCW. Much like when he made tag matches, Teddy made sure to put emphasis when announcing Taker's name. It's what helped both phrases get over and why we remember them so fondly to this day. When I started going out to introduce The Undertaker, I thought I remembered what Vince said, make that name mean something. Tonight, you will go one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker. one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker! But it was particularly fun to see wrestlers' reaction when they found out they'd be facing the Phenom. You will go one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker! Oh, oh, the Undertaker! And The Undertaker! You will go one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker! Versus The Undertaker! You can't do that! He's a gentleman! No, you can't! Nobody deserves that!
Number one, holla, holla, holla. After becoming general manager of SmackDown, Teddy coined the famous catchphrase that would help define his career. Everybody, holla, holla, holla. Long began repeating holla after watching a skit from the Dave Chappelle show. Holla, 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 holla. Can I get a holla, holla, holla? <laughs> holla, holla, holla. Why don't you give me a little bit of holla, 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 baby girl? Holla, holla, holla. <laughs> holla, holla, holla. Holla, holla, holla. It's an iconic line befitting one of wrestling's most beloved personalities. Holla, holla, holla. Cheers. Holla, holla, holla. <laughs> I'm gonna make Crystal holla, holla, holla. Don't go to the Is that what I'm talking about? If you're having fun tonight, give me a holla, holla, holla. If you thought WrestleMania was off the hizzle, give me a holla. I'm a holla, holla, holla beamer! Thank you very much. Vicky Guerrero's in the hall of fame! Holla, 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 You just holla. You just holla. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out a similar video on Michael Cole's greatest one-liners. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.